Hello friends and family and welcome to the final round of the 2023 Champions Cup presented by Bushnell. We are here at the W.R. Jackson course in Appling, Georgia, and this is the first PDGA major of the year. I'm Holly Finley. And I'm Connor O'Reilly, and we are super excited to bring you guys the final round here in Appling, Georgia. We all love playing in the woods of W.R. Jackson, and with a couple changes to the FPO side of the course, it's really playing well and a lot of players scoring well under par. Can anyone on this chase down make a move, try to get that podium spot, maybe even, who knows, contest with Kristen. And on this chase card today, we have Katrina Allen, Team DGA, a two-time world champion. Next up, we have Hina Blomroos on Team Innova, their highest team level star. Very powerful player. Another Team Innova member, Kat Mersh, third on the card. Excited to watch her shred these woods. And fourth on the card, Jessica Weiss, a player who can throw forehand and backhand very well. Let's see how she likes to attack this course. And starting on hole one, we have a 660 foot par four. This is a joint hole playing the same as MPO. This right gap that the drone is flying is a little bit narrower off the tee, but helps set you up for kind of a lot of the other gaps on the course. You'll see other players kind of take the left side on a turnover. Looking to put yourself maybe 300 to 250 into this pin if you really crush it and slightly uphill coming in, you'll have a number of options. This is the final day of competition. This is the chase card. Teeing off at 937, first off of the box, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, two-time world champion, Katrina Allen. Doesn't look like Katrina put as much Anheuser angle on that as she intended, but World Champ Love is in full effect, and look at that. Wow. She's got a good shot in the fairway. Blue Bro. Yeah, a little wry smile from Katrina back there. No, she got away with one. I saw her caddy give a little smirk, too. To move up on Kristen, you're going to need a couple of those today, and then some. A little bit wide once again for Henna, but has been finding a way through somehow. And similar position to Katrina, maybe a little bit further back. I think when you throw with that much power, those twigs don't affect it as much as, you know. Yeah, as long as you don't hit a big trunk, you know, you, you might still power through this stuff. Look at this bedazzled visor. Cat always brings the vibes. She is not afraid to show her character. Arguably the, arguably the best shot of the three so far ends up in the worst spot, and that's the woods sometimes. Jessica Weiss. Jessica Weiss has been touring about 10 plus years. Very well-rounded player. Little bit too flat here, but finds a spot that should be pretty manageable for at least a par. It's a good spot to be. 
Cat going to standstill. Looks like a slow, overstable disc. Just putting it up there for position. Smart play. As whole one's playing the fourth hardest. It's been playing in that last three or four holes of difficulty wise every day so far this week. Yeah, and just a bit wide so far on both shots from Henna. Let's see if she can make an adjustment going forward on hole two's tee shot. Katrina didn't quite hang that over to the right gap as much as she intended, but she's up there for a long look at birdie. This is Jessica's third shot. Can she beat the tree? She does not, but a bit of a forward kick. She has an outside chance. And that's a little low. Her drive was a little low as well, so could be first hole jitters. Yeah, I'd say that probably explains a bit of it, but something like that might kind of help her get over that early in the round and could be helpful. Got to frame things positively, you guys. And I did find out from Henna that that red approach disc is an S-line P2, one that she has nicely seasoned in and really relies on. I just noticed that Katrina's caddy, Austin, is wearing a matching outfit, and that's just so cute. It's yeah, red and black He's tiger got the red, and red top, black bottom. She's got the opposite. I love it. Lisa will have a drop-in par. Okay, I'm kind of blocking the sun with that upstroke. It's a good, it's a good position to have that in your swing. Confident looking putt out of Katrina Allen here on the first hole. As well as Henna. And on this final round, we only saw three birdies on hole one, coming from Ella Hansen, Evelina Salonen, and Missy Gannon. So, proving to be a tough get. Par is A-OK, -okay. bogey, definitely feels like you let one go though. Let's check out hole two, 390 feet, par three. This is a power player's birdie. Say a lot of the division is just looking to get a little bit past this ditch, maybe give yourself a circle two putt. We've got some players on this card, however, that can get well past the basket. Uh, the right side gap is the most preferred. As long as you don't end up too far in the woods on the right, it should be a fairly simple up and down. Katrina Allen up first. Disc gets lost in that morning sun, finds its way to maybe a 65, 70 footer. Henna once again, a little wide on her shot. She's gonna need to figure that out. Better to dial down the power and hit the gap than to... Oof. And Cat a little bit offline, but gets a friendly ricochet. Wow. And that's actually a long putt if she's not obstructed. About circle two and a half, I'd say. A little more jitters from Cat, but that kick, who knows, could be, could be the one to let her just keep smiling it off and take a deep breath, figure it out. Lise is over the ditch and she'll have a circle two look at it. And I'm putting herself in that test of range. Let's see, let's see how she's feeling with the putt today. That's going to be a meaty putt for par. Ooh. Good little kiss off the tree. <laughs> Cat's had some tree love back to back there. It's worked out very well in her favor. Weiss with that anti-sonic upshot. 
for birdie. Katrina goes to the half throw, almost gets it there, just a little bit too much hyzer. <laughs> This is Hina for her par save. Yeah, just not quite the line or the pace she needed. Katrina gives another confident putt here on hole two, snagging a par as well as cat merch. There were only a pair of birdies on hole two today. Allie Smith grabbing it for the second day in a row, and Evelina Salonen starting her round. Birdie, birdie. Allie Smith is throwing some long shots out here. I played with her in Texas, and I was also impressed with her distance time and time again. Yeah, starting to make a name for herself. and An ultimate player, I believe. No birdies yet. Can we see one on the tough third? Ooh. Taking the risk. Hole three actually played as the hardest hole on the course today. Dethrone hole 17 in a rare upset because that hole is playing tough and this one's a par four at just under 600 feet for the first shot. You can play a forehand or you can kind of turn over a backhand, trying to give yourself a right to left moving shot coming into this green, whether you have to play like a high stalling hyzer or kind of play a low skipping shot. This one is a tough get. Katrina up first, opting for a forehand placement shot off the tee, not looking for any type of greedy distance. She doesn't like it. It's in that pinched off corner, making an upshot a little difficult to get a birdie look. Yeah, this one's very specific. Anything left or right, and all of a sudden that window on the approach is pretty much gone. And That's more of an aggressive shot by Kat, but she didn't punch it to the left corner. She more of threw it in the fairway, so it cut a little early into the right side. Jessica... Pushing the backside, almost finding there's a backdoor path over there that's not necessarily part of the design, kind of just a path to move on, and it can be in play. Now, this is the power shot I'm looking for. Fight out. There's, oh, there's the one. That tree stole a little bit off her, but still an amazing spot to be. She can almost throw a pretty straight line to the basket from there, likely. Strategizing with Austin, making sure to visualize the line before she tries to execute it. Ooh. That was a really good shot. I just wish it didn't clip those leaves. I bet you'd be inside the circle. Yeah, it looked like it was going to get through that gap and maybe finish 20 feet closer, but still has an opportunity from there. And yeah, Jessica does have the ability to access that back door gap and gets herself to an easy par position. They really cleaned out that middle section where Jessica was. Now Kat ended up over there on the right side, a little past Katrina and a little more in the woods. She should be able to scramble for par from there. Finally, it's Henna's turn. Yeah, she's looking straight at it. Can she beat that pine tree? Yes, but catches the two right after it. A lot of trees on this approach. You really got to be pinpoint coming in. And Merch with another ground shot worm burner. That is several sh very low shots out of her. I don't know if she's nervous or what, but I know that she'll reel it in here in a minute. Yeah, Disc maybe just feeling a little forward in her, in her hands right now, but... Hopefully this will be her last warm up, warm up hole and she'll start the real round on hole four. Yeah, it's time to activate the sparkles on that visor. Come on, oh Jess. Oh my gosh, that was Man. a beautiful run. She is deadly with the accuracy on that thing. 
her and Garrett just both have such incredible variety and touch around the green. It's uh, fun to see. Oh. Katrina Allen, look at this birdie putt. Puts it up out of the frame, dives it into the sweet spot. Katrina grabbing a birdie on the third. Henna lofts it up there and she gets it close. Should have a fairly simple putt at par. The cat merch, unfortunately, will walk away with the bogey. Looks like she was about to square off with the cameraman there. Wow. <laughs> I, got, I got some of I those got vibes in, too. I got intimidated. Katrina joined Ella as the only birdies on hole three today. I love birdieing hole three. It's just one of my favorite birdies besides seven and uh, 15. Yeah, such a tough opening stretch. We only saw what was that? Seven birdies in the first three holes. Here we are, hole four, 327 feet, par three. This is a really good hole. If you are good at hitting a gap, throw a disc flat, one that'll turn left, or you can throw it at a little bit of an angle. Also, you could throw it low and get a flare skip. If you're feeling a little nervous about getting left, just throw something straight and play it for par. The most common error I see on this hole is an early release, sawed off shot, being left and pinched off in that corner. Allen up first after a birdie on the previous hole, going right towards that pinched off corner. Yeah, that's it's gonna be Scrambleville. Forehand roller, something creative. I played with Jess the other day and she parked this shot. Ooh. Mm. Not today though. Yeah, kicks to the right are some of the worst places to be on this hole. Hannah not looking as dialed in as we saw her throw in the disc yesterday. But the first opening holes are the toughest part of the course. All right, this looks good. Can it miss all the trees and get left? Oh my gosh, it yes. squeezes through that little cluster too at the end. That was cool. Kind of, Came out of the coin slot. Looks like Katz found her throwing stroke. Now I'm expecting to see greatness. Ooh, touchy flex line. Not quite able to shape it. And Katrina wasn't quite as in the corner as it looked, so she's fairly lucky in that fact. But this roller's not... I mean, I putter would have done it. I am just wish she would have done better on that one. It just got away from her there. I hate that because she's not that far from the basket. Jessica is always doing forehand rollers when I'm thinking, why are you doing this? And then they usually work out great 90% of the time. It looks like maybe a leopard in her hand, something understable to cut to the left quick. Yeah, if I had to choose some skill shots players, I would definitely choose Jessica as one of those. Yeah, she just has such a variety inside of that 150 range. Henna kind of going to a little half pitch stroke. Yeah, gets that one up there for a simple tap in par. Jessica tries to save the par, but doesn't connect. Merch for birdie. There we go. That's a good way to get settled in here for Cat. Yeah, a little bit of those final round jitters, plus just a tough opening stretch. We saw hole one play as the fourth hardest hole. Hole two only saw two birdies. Hole three played as the hardest hole. Hole four, the second hardest hole. In hole five, the third hardest hole of the course. So this opening stretch is testing the players. No stress par for Henna. Merch with the only birdie here on the fourth. And 
every good challenging wooded course needs one of these tunnel holes that just doesn't let you veer left or right, forces you to play the disc on a line the whole way. You can put a little bit of shape on this one, but really not much. At 363 feet, it's gonna be a big fairway driver or a distance driver for most of these ladies to try to test this one for birdie. Any tenth of a second early or late out of your hand though, and you're likely to catch a tree, and the kicks can be brutal. Cat merch up first. It's going right side. Can it sneak there? Sneaker route? And sometimes missing by four feet is better than missing by a foot. And yes. she's going to be rewarded. She's found it now. She's up there putting for birdie. Looks like Nico got a good video of that. As he should. Ooh, a little higher. Can that get the flip it needs? No, but not a bad kick. Should I be. don't really see Hannah running putts that long. I imagine she'll just try to get it close and play this one for par and on to the next. Oh. Oh, Katrina was going for that super hyzer flip that we've seen her execute in days past on extremely tight tunnels, and that one was a bit offline. Yeah, I've found when trying to execute those type of lines on these holes, a lot of times that miss is going to be kind of high and late, and that can be a very punishing miss. Trick shot time. Uh, got back to a pretty good spot because she was in jail over there. This is going to be a very tough par. Just got a circle two putt to save it. Jessica flexing over something overstable. Not quite overstable enough though. And going to be some kind of tricky maybe jumper just outside the circle. Yeah, bogey from Katrina, but honestly, seeing the way that tee shot ended up, I feel like a triple bogey was on the table. Yeah, as you predicted, Hina doesn't want any part of getting cheeky on that one. Very fortunate stop. Jessica has a very slow putt, and she... Um, doesn't get a lot of reaction if she misses. It's very forgiving. Yeah, sometimes those slow putts on steep angles, if the green is very slopey, can be punishing, but for the most part, they kind of will flop over if it's a gentle green. Henna capturing a par, but unfortunately for Katrina, that's two bogeys in a row. And Cat Merch, that's two birdies in a row for her. Shake off those nerves and get it rolling. Yeah, the course just tossed her one there. And you need a couple of those out here at WR if you're gonna move up the leaderboard. And Jess with a bit of a rough start, but she is a very good woods player, so I expect to see her pick it up here in a moment. Looks like or two. Katrina cut her hand, maybe. Oh no. Kyle Klein stepping up for the birdie on 18. You're open champion, Gannon Burr. Another record setting weekend on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Back to back weeks, winner coming from the chase card. Pretty special stuff. Gannon Burr, Kyle Klein, two young superstars on tour. Showing you how to get it done. On the surface, Ledgestone is one of Disc Golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the Disc Golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your Disc Golf wardrobe, choose Ledgestone. Let's check out hole six, 296 foot par three, a new pin position for FPO this year. The drone flyover doesn't indicate exactly how uphill this hole is. The right side is probably used by 95% of the players. I've only seen one take the left side all weekend. A very reachable hole for this division. I'd like to see some twos here. Cat merch up first after two birdies in a row. It's a bit right. Mm. She'll be scrambling for par.
Blomroos well capable of out throwing the basket. But she gets caught up. And that's a long putt for Birdie. Ooh, this one looks like a good line from Katrina. Yeah, nearly catches the koozie. Should be counting in a birdie there to get her back to even on the round. I'm really loving this shot from Jessica Weiss as well. She'll be up there putting for birdie. to see that. Hmm. Yeah, throwing a disc and being further away from the pin is a rare sight on the Disc Golf Pro Tour, but it can happen to the best of us. I like the way she let out a little giggle rather than, you know, it's better to giggle it off yeah. than to <laughs> let it rage out and build up and yeah, ruin little, your day. Let, let a little crazy giggle out. Don't, yeah. don't let it come out in the other way. There we go. We'll just clean this up and move on to the next one. Henna's putting for par. I mean, for birdie here. Oof. <sighs> Not quite enough to get it in the basket. She sees she needs to give it a little more. Weiss for birdie. On this final day with that final round major pressure only two holes played under par. This was one of them. Katrina helping that stat. Day one, we saw five holes play under. Day two, seven. Day three, once again, we saw five holes. And today, only two holes playing under par. Katrina Allen's putting is looking very good this season. If you follow Katrina's career in the past, you know that she had a short bout of putting woes, but if you watched the All-Stars event, Katrina Allen put herself in the putting competition and she smoked it. She's been putting a lot of hours around the basket and it really shows making that putt, washing away one of those bogeys. Yeah, look for Henna to maybe take a little page out of Katrina's book and figure that out because if she does, she will be finding herself winning some tournaments soon and hole seven is a very fun part four. Throw a hyzer shot that can get right around here to be able to access a simple flat to hyzer up shot. There's really only one lane that you can take coming into the basket and really only one way you can shape the tee shot. There are a couple ways you can scramble on that second shot, but it's really hard to get anything but par unless you can access that right side gap. Katrina throwing a mid off the tee. It's around the deep side, but they've cleaned it out. So that'll actually give her a, you know, a shot into the green there. You can kind of throw downhill to the right side and give yourself a circle putt. Hannah playing this towering hyzer we've seen her going with here with that mid range. Once again, just a little too high, but honestly, she pushes it far enough. She, she can possibly have a skinny flex to get up to the green. Weiss taking more of a lower flat route. I really like this one myself. Yeah, if it can beat those last line of trees like it does, that is well up there in the landing zone. That's the preferred way I like to throw the shot on this hole. Yeah, that was an elite landing zone. Oh. Merch just sawed that one off a little early. Now that is not a fair way. It's more for spectators, but it can be a fair way if you need it to be. Yeah, I believe it's a Bushnell Boulevard all throughout the course for the spectators to move around and here and there it can aid the player in Look taking at that. a scramble. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> Kat, I had to throw up Bushnell Boulevard today too, and actually it worked out. I almost got to circle two. I was very surprised. Thanks, Bushnell. This is Blomroos' second shot. Oh, man. And as with all the other previous shots, she's just putting things a little wide today. Very powerful, but a little wide. Yeah, let's see if maybe she adjusts her aim point throughout the round to figure that out, or whether it's an alignment thing with her body. Look at this shot shaping out of Katrina. 
She'll be up there putting for a birdie three. Yeah, I asked Katrina what mid-range that one was. I can't remember if it was a rift or a squall, that green mid-range that she's been getting those nice flip-ups on, and Jessica just putting that one a bit too high there. Catches the canopy and gets smacked down. This will be Kat's third shot, looking to get up to the green and get a par here. Ooh, playing oh, the that's soft the wrong skip. way. Yeah. One tree to beat there, and she caught it. With Jessica's track record on some of those forehands, I'm starting to believe in, in its chances to go in a lot more when she's inside that 120 foot zone. This one is a steep down slope, so sometimes you'll see cage hits roll away. Maybe Katrina figuring, eh, don't really need to score on this one. Did Cat's putter have the 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 ring inscription on it from No, it has a it's I think one of those Halloween AVRs with the pumpkin oh, the that's pumpkin on disappointing. it. <laughs> I mean, I like a Halloween AVR, but not as much as if it was an L O T R. Oh, I'm a, with the I'm script a huge Lord it. of the Rings Man. Lord of the Rings nerd. I've read the books like 3 times. Have a bunch of the spin-offs too. I'll Let us know in the late. comments, have you read Lord of the Rings as well? <laughs>
Because she was so close to that tree behind her, she did not have the option for a run up, but her standstill game is primo. So she fired off a really good shot. Looks like a rock three in the hands of Henna. A bit overturned to that high side of the green, but she has a makeable putt. 25 foot look at. Give it the juice, Henna. <laughs> Trina lofts one up there. Sonic in hand. Sit down. Like a good dog, it listens. Do you guys talk to your discs? I talk to other people's discs all the time. And Me I, too. And I feel some bit of satisfaction when they listen, even though oh. they're obviously just doing what they want. Well, we saw it at least get to that cage height and so close for Henna there. Yes, cat merch with the birdie. Let's go. Strong putt, gallops it in there. A little skippy skip. Yeah, happy feet. <laughs> uh, she's my favorite. She is all over the place this round and she's a lot of fun to watch. Jessica Weiss getting a birdie as well. That's her first birdie of the front nine. Katrina elevators that par putt down in there. Katrina is a good putter. I'm just loving to see it. Yeah, I feel like a couple years ago that was kind of the knock on her, but it seems like last year and this year she's been... You can't say that anymore. Yeah, she's been stepping it up for that's, sure. That's old news. It's a new Katrina. Yeah, keep up the good work, Katrina. We see you grinding. you can choose how much distance you want to bite off off this tee shot there's kind of a fake gap on the left there that you can see this one the drones flying though is the one that's heavily chosen looking to get somewhere past this road more aggressive players will find themselves right about here with a short pitch up very narrow wooded tunnels coming into the green here if you don't get extremely specific it's gonna be hard to get this one and the more distance the easier it's gonna be First up, Jessica Weiss opting for that most popular right side with the hyzer. Making it over that gravel road is preferred. I feel like if you make it past the road, you've got a good shot. Mersh comes out dialed on that one, looking to finish. Whoa! Up and down front nine with the birdie here on nine. Way past the road. Katrina hangs it wide. Can she beat the stuff? She does. It pushes that right side. She's going to have a very opportune window from there. Hina puts a move on it. Going wow. well past Cat Merch. She'll have a simple putter up shot into the green. The upshot is really key here. There's a lot of gaps to choose from. You need to be decisive and you've got to commit. Henna's almost in her own distance category, kind of like Eagle McMahon was for the MBO, MPO side. It still can be at times where it's like, there's all these people who throw extremely far and then there's just this anomaly. Inside the circle, that'll give Alan a chance at a birdie putt as well as Jessica Weiss. Good gap hit by Cat Merch, giving the koozie a little tap tap. Hole nine was the course designer's dream today, playing at even par, just like they wrote it up. That one 
slides up nicely for henna. Should be able to make good on that birdie. Katrina, that had no juice on it. That didn't look like any of the putts from before. Yeah, I would have putted out like that myself. Yeah, I feel like in years past, that was kind of her miss undercommitted. Now it seems like she understands she'd rather put too much juice on it, and I feel like that's been part of what's made her a better putter. All right, henna for birdie. Oh, that's a three for three miss here on hole nine. I hate to see it. I hope Hen is doing some experiment and trying to figure stuff out because at this point, you know, she just got to keep trying new things and eventually something's going to click for her. She puts herself in position to score so much with the throwing. One day she's going to figure it out. We know it. Cat Merch getting two in a row, capping off that front nine with another birdie, the only birdie on this FPO chase card. Let's check out the leaderboard. Kristen Tatar holding on strong to that first place spot, on Scoggins in second, Katrina Allen in fourth. Henna has gone to seventh place, tied with Cat Merch. Sarah Hokum and Allie Smith up in the top 10. We appreciate you guys tuning in to this final day coverage of the Champions Cup. We've had a lot of incredibly talented shots, cool shot shaping out here at the WR Jackson course. If you've never been here, you've got to take a trip here. It's a disc golfer's dream. Three courses on one property. I'm here with my partner, Connor O'Reilly. Our chase card at this point is really looking to jockey for that podium finish and to finish this tournament on a high note. See you guys on the back nine.